So guys, welcome to another Daily Shave video. Today we're gonna be using the GOF Trumpers Sandalwood. Comes in a wood bowl. You can also just buy the puck. It works just as good. For razor, we're gonna be using a Blackbird. This is a Blackbird um, brushed head. I have a custom handle on it, but the head is is what it's very important of it. One of the most efficient shavers on the market. This is one of the best things that, uh, that was creative, very good shave, a little bit on the aggressive side, but it's not really aggressive. It's just, it's more efficient than aggressive. Then we have MV Shave Carbon Brush, one of my favorite brushes. I use it quite often with a Black Wolf or a synthetic knot. And then I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of Lucky Tiger Aftershave Balm or a tonic, all right? In my Blackbird is a feather a brand new feather. So let's get the shave started. Good thing about synthetics is that you don't have to soak it for too much. It's very easy to get wet. It's not like natural. So that's what I use when I'm in a little bit of a pinch or when I need my face to be, when I need to use something softer with less um, scrub on my face. And then this stuff lathers very, very easily, but it, it has something we call proto lather, which is like that very airy initial lather. It's really not that good. So you just keep lathering through that until it starts picking up the more heavy, denser lather, which is what has all the stiffness and a good feel of the cushion. And with this soap, it's not hard to get, very easy. And this sandalwood scent, sandalwood is a scent that needs very little description. You know, this is a very classic sandalwood scent. Um, the one thing I can tell you about this soap in particular is that it's not a very strong sandalwood scent. It's strong in the sense is it's not overpowering of a scent. You know, it's probably like a seven or eight on the scale, but it's, it smells more refreshing, more clean than, than woody per se. Very classic scent. Add a little bit more water. And now I have a huge mess of lather, which is great because what I use all over. So I'm down south in Florida. We have very hard water down here in Miami. And as you can tell, I'm having no issues making some suds, loading this brush with a soap. I'm loading it a little bit heavier than normal just because I haven't used this soap in a little bit. So, but it's really easy to lather. I have a big mountain right now. All right. So let's go, let's do it. So for pre-shave, I wash my face right after getting from home from work. I have one of those little, um, Alpha Clarisonics, and I I did that whole treatment thing. Then I'm gonna be shaving with somewhat of a cold water to avoid any irritation. I have very sensitive skin, and this happens to be a great solution for me. is clean, the container is clean, my hands are clean, let's start the lather. Uh, this company has been around for a very long time. I remember when I started white shaving maybe nine or ten years ago, this is one of the only two or three soaps that I would use. It was this one and Porassel. I would use that every day. And when I started shaving, I started with a Mercur Progress. And I used this thing for nine consecutive years. Wasn't aware that there was a lot of people selling razors and, and blades and, and it worked, it worked for me. So I didn't change it. I used the Progress, I used an Astra Green or a gelée blue, which is what I could get at my local pharmacy store. 
and I used that for about 10 years. And then I discovered that there was places like West Coast Shaving, there was, there was uh, a community, uh, Facebook groups that talked about it, and there was this whole world of products that we could use. And then what, be what was a chore became a hobby. Instead of looking down to shaving, now I had a reason to want to do it. Okay, I only have like a day's worth of growth, so it's very light beer. beard. gray shave the blackbird from black blackland also demands you to have a little bit of a good technique it's not a razor you really want to get as as a new into the hobby because it can cause some nicks but it does get a very efficient shave very good shave Now this is all uh, with the grain shave, so I explained this in almost all my videos. My hair grows diagonal, so I have to, and then here goes straight, and here diagonal again. So that's why the width the grains are like at a weird angle. Pass number one down. I'm gonna hydrate my face real good and then go for pass number two. get a second pass in before I give you a little bit of my thoughts on the soap.
Okay, so usually I do two passes, then a light cleanup. So I just kind of haven't used the soap in a while, so let's see what I feel. All right. Very little cleanup to do, pretty good shave. The one downside that I found to a soap is not that much lather left and it's like this very airy lather not really like like thick cushiony like very airy i don't know how to explain it so it does the job but it doesn't give extreme comfort it is a very traditional cream uh puck they gotta give it another go and load it even heavier, but I loaded it for quite a bit. It has the slickness, but it doesn't have the cushion. all it's blackbird it's very audible you can really hear it scraping your whiskers all right so the soap again the slickness is there it doesn't lather very very cushiony or thick the crochet feel very good. Perfect. Again, GOF Trumpers, they've been around forever. The scent is great, very easy to load. Uh, not the easiest to get a good cushion on it. It does get the job done. It does smell really clean, very manly. So do I recommend it? Yes. Is it amongst my top 10? No. It does come in, whoops. It does come in a pretty cool traditional wood, wood um, case. That's always nice. Then let's finish this off with Lucky Tiger Shave Tonic. After Shave Tonic. And this is nice. This is like a herbal citrusy scent. Really helps kill irritation and kind of feeds the face. Now I'm going to clean the razor. I don't know what you guys do, but what I do is I remove it. I clean the handle, I clean the individual plates. And the razor blade, I make sure there's no suds, no hairs, nothing on it, no whiskers. And then I give it a couple of flicks. And that's how I dry it out. And then I put in this little magnet that I have down there. And that's all. Thanks for joining me on my shave and see you next time guys.